Of all the people here, that guy is the most troublesome. He's trained his observation haki so much that apparently he can see into the future. A monster with a one billion plus bounty. The second son of the Charlotte family, Katakuri. Hello and welcome to the Grand Line Review, your source for everything One Piece. Today we are going to be taking a look at a character I've wanted to discuss for an awfully long time now. The sweet commander of Mochi himself, Charlotte Katakuri. Charlotte Katakuri is an absurdly tall, muscular man sporting spiky crimson hair, a strong sense of biker-style fashion, and a general aura of extreme seriousness on 99% of all occasions. Also quite notably, Katakuri chooses to wear a very ragged scarf, which serves to cover his mouth, and to discover exactly why that is, we need to delve deep into his past. Katakuri was born into the Charlotte family, spawning directly from the Yonko Big Mom as part of a set of triplets, including Charlotte Daifuku and Charlotte Oven. Although it should be noted that Katakuri is the oldest of the triplets, and thus he is considered the second son of the Charlotte family. As a child, Katakuri had a habit of eating incredibly quickly, which resulted in the expansion of his mouth and the subsequent ostracization from most people of common society who teased him by saying that he looks like a pelican eel, which I mean, he does, but that's not the point. This treatment from society as a whole molded Katakuri into a cold and strong individual, capable of beating up anybody who dared bully him. Despite this public demeanor, Katakuri still greatly cared for his family though, the closest members of which didn't even care whatsoever about his mouth. However, it would be this compassion towards his family that would trigger the transformation into the man we encounter in Whole Cake Island, as one day his younger sister Brulee had her face cut by a pack of bullies that Katakuri had beaten up. Enraged, Katakuri immediately took revenge on them and vowed to become a ruthless person, capable of commanding enough fear to protect his family. And he did just that, as Katakuri would rise to the role of sweet commander within the Big Mom Pirates and earn himself an astounding bounty of 1 billion and 57 million berries. But he became so much more than that, as Katakuri would also come to adopt a perfect image of a fighter who has never once lost a battle and furthermore has never even had his back touch the ground. This legend grew so much so that an inter-family fan club was even established in his honor by youngest sister Charlotte Flampe. However, Katakuri's first proper appearance in the series would occur on the day of Sanji and Pudding's wedding, when he was just casually chilling on the roof of Whole Cake Chateau as a man named Jigra attempted to enter the ceremony without submitting to a body check. And it would be here that Katakuri revealed an astounding ability to peer into the future. This skill is an evolution of observation haki, and through its use, Katakuri was able to thwart an assassination attempt by Jigra. This future sight, like all applications of observation haki, does require a certain level of concentration and calmness to invoke. And should Katakuri be in any form of highly emotional state, then he will generally be unable to access it. In addition to this, Katakuri is also a highly advanced user of armament haki, and he is one of the rare individuals in the world known to possess conqueror's haki, so he has a full set of haki at his disposal. With all of this in mind, Katakuri was able to vaguely predict the crashing of the wedding by a certain Monkey D. Luffy, however, he was still unable to prevent it, as well as the following series of events that led to the destruction of Whole Cake Chateau. Katakuri then took it upon himself to pursue the Straw Hats in an attempt to quell Big Mom's rage, as well as an act justice to the chaos they had caused his family. This would culminate in a direct conflict with the Straw Hat Captain, who managed to successfully force Katakuri into his younger sister Brule's mirror world in order to allow the rest of the crew to escape. And as the two began a one-on-one -on -one fight, Katakuri would begin to fully display quite an intriguing devil fruit. Katakuri ate the Mochi Mochi no Mi, a special paramecia that allows its user to conjure, manipulate, and even become Mochi. At first glance, this devil fruit rather suspiciously mimics certain properties of Logia fruits and provides an illusion of intangibility when Katakuri Katakuri is being subject to various attacks. However, this phenomenon actually occurs as a result of Katakuri's highly advanced observation haki, allowing him to morph select portions of his mochi body in such a way that it effectively dodges incoming attacks. Another thing the mochi mochi no mi mimics just so happens to be the properties of the gomu gomu no mi. Due to Katakuri being able to expand and retract mochi in a very similar manner to that of rubber, he is able to imitate a fair bit of Luffy's arsenal, including devastating attacks such as the elephant gun. There is one big difference though, and that is that Katakuri's superior physical abilities make these replicated techniques significantly more effective than Luffy's original attacks. And with this in mind, Katakuri began the battle looking down on Luffy as a far inferior version of himself, and he proceeded to dominate the large majority of the fight. And while Katakuri did trump Luffy in almost every conceivable area of combat, he did neglect Luffy's sheer determination. At one stage convinced that he had finished his opponent off, only then to have his snack time interrupted by the pirate captain. Speaking of, as any child of Big Mom should, Katakuri has an incredible fondness for sweets, and has gone so far as to schedule private daily snack breaks. To Katakuri, these are moments of heavenly solitude where he is able to remove
remove his scarf and eat like the gluttonous slob he is. Which is another area in which he mirrors Luffy, by the way. However, Katagori goes to great lengths to ensure that nobody knows about his mouth or his lust for sweet things. Delicious, forbidden, immoral donuts in particular. And after being exposed by Luffy, he went so far as to kill all of the nearby chefs who bore witness to it. Following this, Katagori went on to take several hits from Luffy, a stunning achievement on Luffy's part, although the tide of battle remained firmly in Katagori's favor. But despite being beaten over and over again, Luffy continued to get up, eventually developing a crude sense of Katakuri's future sight, and little by little, Katakuri began to respect his opponent, and despite his initial desire of wanting to defeat Luffy as quickly as possible, Katakuri resolved to fight him honorably. And it was at this stage that the president of the Katakuri fan club, Charlotte Flampe, interfered with the battle, causing Luffy to suffer a serious wound. From here, Katakuri's supreme sense of honor led him to stab himself and create the same wound that had been inflicted upon Luffy, as well as removing his scarf and declaring to Luffy that he no longer thought of him as below his level. And gravely wounded, the two of them fought with Luffy eventually innovating Snake Man and engaging in one final clash. Katakuri, thoroughly impressed and enamored by his opponent, then queried to Luffy if he would return to defeat Big Mom one day. And upon hearing his affirmative answer, Katakuri collapsed in defeat. Very notably, Katakuri chose to fall on his back, going against every principle of the legend that had developed around him. A legend that he himself had gone to great lengths to produce. Furthermore, his mouth was on full display, a factor noted by his sister Brule when she came to tend to his wounds. And when Katakuri was informed that Luffy had escaped Totland, he couldn't help but smile. Some more fun facts about Charlotte Katakuri. In the anime, Katakuri is introduced much earlier than his initial appearance in the manga, as he was seen entering Whole Cake Chateau the day before the wedding, clad in a dark cloak so as not to prematurely reveal his design. In addition to being a sweet commander of the Big Mom Pirates, Katakuri also serves as the Minister of Flower on Totland, and specifically governs Komugi Island. In the original manga release in Weekly Shonen Jump, Katakuri was said to be a Logia user, however this was later retconned for the volume release in favour of labelling him as a special Paramecia. Furthermore, Katakuri is one of the rare individuals in the series to have awakened his Devil Fruit abilities, which allow him to turn the environment around him into mochi. And finally, a truly useless fact. While Katakuri's bounty of 1 billion and 57 million berries may seem a bit random, the number 57 may have been purposely chosen to indicate his superiority in relation to Luffy, whose common number is 56, which can be read as Gomu. But that pretty much does it for Charlotte Katakuri. If you enjoyed this video and the content this channel produces in general, then please do consider donating to the Grand Line Review Patreon because the support of all of you amazing people is what continues to make this channel possible. Also do check out my Teespring store if you're interested in shirts, hoodies, and other miscellaneous items with the proceeds going directly to support the channel as well. And if you'd like to join the fun at any time, then please do head over to my Discord server where a wide array of shenaniganry takes place on a daily basis. And finally, please do comment with who, what, or where you'd like to see featured in the next One Piece 101.